Amusement parks across the country are beginning to employ more immersive technology to wow their guests. Here in Albuquerque, the marriage of art and engineering are front and center at Electric Playhouse. News 13's Chad Brummett got a behind the scenes look at how they make those experiences come to life. Imagine being transported into a living, breathing video game. Sitting on Albuquerque's west side, just off of I-40, is 24,000 square feet of an immersive experience that relies on a one-of-a-kind avatar and gameplay, you. We bring people together through technology, and so we develop a number of gamified experiences where the walls and floors react to your movement. And so it's a really great experience for all ages. Electric Playhouse opened its doors in February of 2020. The brainchild of Albuquerque native Brandon Garrett, the attraction features 16 rooms that host a wide array of interactive experiences that can literally change with the push of a button. We have built this environment from the ground up ourselves, um, so we have pretty much you know, full control over um, anything that can happen. And while thousands of guests have taken part in their interactive experiences, you may be wondering, how does it work? At the core of the Playhouse's attraction is a technology that actually hit the market in 2010, the Xbox Connect. The peripheral uses a combination of cameras, infrared projectors, and detectors that can sense bodies and objects in a three-dimensional space. The data then creates calculations that are turned into real-time gestures and environments responding directly to the motion it picks up. So everywhere anybody is standing is like a blob. And we have to create games and experiences based on where those blobs are and where they are not. Simone Siegel is one of the creative engineers tasked with developing games and experiences based on the Kinect's data. She says each room contains more than a dozen sensors, projectors, and computers, all working to seamlessly create the interactive canvas. Like, how long does it take to develop one of these games or one of these experiences? Uh, games can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to a month. It's actually a lot faster than I thought it would be. <laughs> We're kind of starting from something that you can't really knock off a lot of existing content because it's so new that we have to try and develop as we're going along what makes sense based on the data that we get. The seamless calculations are processed in what the engineers call a point cloud. Married to weekly calibrations of the projectors and sensors, the end result is a fully immersive experience for guests of all ages. We can take one box and be uh, almost anything you can imagine from games, dining experiences, concerts, and really interesting private events where we can just customize the whole space. While the Playhouse will keep its headquarters here in Albuquerque, Garrett says the company is hoping to expand into other large markets down the road. So we kind of fall into the category of location-based entertainment, right? And um, I think interactivity is really, I think, what's next. And with the addition of kiosks to allow players to choose their own activities, fully customizable dining and party experiences, and a team of designers continually crafting new experiences, the lights are shining bright indeed here at Electric Playhouse. Chad Brummett, KRQE News 13. In addition to those new kiosks, the Playhouse staff is gearing up for 2024 with all new experiences and packages for your next party with coworkers, family, and friends.